Child, I can't even. Hold up. Can't waste your place. Give me the cash and I'll do as I please with it. I'm a psycho. I'm a psycho. But it's this. It touched the little hangy ball in the back of my throat, but I had to take it like a G and swap. I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that trap. Yeah. Hey, besties. Before we get started, we do have a sponsor today. But today's sponsor is just extra special because I love them so much. It is Fetch Rewards. I have been using Fetch Rewards, guys, for years. I told you about them so many times. So for those of you who have been living under a rock or have not been watching my videos, let me just go ahead and explain to you what Fetch Rewards is. So Fetch Rewards is a super easy and totally free app where you can earn free rewards on literally anything that you purchase. All you do is scan any paper receipt that you get or e-receipt and you are guaranteed to earn points no matter where you shop or what you buy. You then turn around and redeem those points for rewards and they have rewards at some of your favorite stores. Pretty much most of your favorite stores. Amazon, you can get a Visa gift card, Target gift card. I've gotten Uber gift cards, airlines gift cards, pretty much anything you can think of from retail stores to some of your favorite restaurants. It's on there to redeem your rewards. So guys, let me show you how fast and easy it is. I've done lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of shopping over literally just like the past four days. I should be ashamed of myself for how much shopping I'm doing. But I'm not gonna be ashamed of myself because I am going to redeem all of these receipts and get my points. All right, so I have the app open. I have my receipt. I'm going to take a picture of the receipt. So now you see it is loading. Once all of these are green, that means these are all your checkoff marks. You hit submit. And I got my points. Let me snap another one. This is a gas station receipt. Y'all can get your receipts from anywhere, from a doctor's appointment, from the grocery store, gas station, wherever. Hang on to those receipts and scan them in the app and get your points. Not just your paper receipts. If you make purchases on Amazon as well, there's an e-receipt button that you can press and it'll pull up your latest Amazon purchases and you'll get your points for those too. And what I'm loving right now, Fetch Rewards usually gives 3,000 points. They are giving my besties 5,000 points when you sign up, scan your first receipt. Now, if you wanted to, you can just go ahead and redeem that immediately and get your e-gift card. If not, you let it build and build up. That's what I like to do. I like to let my points build up so I can redeem for a 10, a 25, even a $50 gift card. So guys, download the app now. It's free. Put in my code Gina J when you sign up and you will get that 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. And these 5,000 bonus points are only for a limited time. So pause the video, download the app, do it now. Okay, do it right now. <laughs> And once again, thank you so much to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. Good afternoon. What up, hoes and helpers? Let me not do, ooh, I need some sunglasses. I need some sunglasses, okay. I'm about to go to the kids' basketball game. Ooh. Ugh, gotta shimmy, 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 make sure they up. But first, coffee. Do I want coffee? It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Do I want an iced coffee or do I just want... You know what? I lied. I'm not gonna drink coffee today. I'm not gonna drink coffee. I have my little Coke Zero that I bought two days ago. I'm gonna finish this. I have some cinnamon apples. And this is how I'm gonna start my day. Zero calorie. Zero sugar. No, it ain't zero calorie, is it? Zero calorie. Zero carb, zero sugar. This is all zero. And this is ain't number half an apple with cinnamon on it, so that that ain't hardly nothing. But anyway, y'all, this is what I'm wearing for the day. I love this wig. This is from Julia Hair. I did a sponsorship on this wig like a couple months ago. I just love how I love it. You guys can't see the, the full depth of how good it really looks, but Anyway, then I'm wearing my 
necklace with my mom's face on it i could link this down below this is from amazon remember i told y'all this is the fake it till you make it necklace <laughs> i have a real one a customized one but i wanted to wear my mom's picture today and then i got a helmet lang t-shirt y'all know my luxury t-shirts i don't i never pay full price ever ever ever, ever. hardly ever I think I got this from off Saks Fifth Avenue. This is like a $300 t-shirt. I want to say I got it for like $100, $115 maybe. Um, and then it says helmet laying on the back real big. And then just my Fashion Nova jeans. And then my Yeezy foams. And then my black bag. So this is today's look. I need to go buy a birthday gift later. It's a couple little errands I gotta run after the game, so. Y'all, I wanna go out. Like, random, but I wanna go out. Like, I wanna... Turn right on you. Oh, shit. Look at me missing my damn turn. I will never know my way around Houston. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it's sad. I've been here my entire life. And I gotta use GPS to go everywhere. Sometimes I'll ask somebody like, "What? where is that at? Like, what side of town is that on? And they'll be like, oh, you go so-and-so east and then you take west and then you exit over by that big old da-da-da. Pump your brakes. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about, okay? I still really don't know most of like east and west and south. I do, I kind of know south and west. But I don't know, like, north. I don't know. The shit is, is hella confusing. I'm just... My sister's the same way. Tina is the exact same way. If it ain't somewhere that she goes, like, weekly, she got to put in her GPS, too. But anyway, I was just saying, I want to go out. Like, I want to... Kind of want to go to a club, a day party. I want to do something this weekend. Last weekend, I told myself I was going to go out and do something for um, the holiday weekend and I did nothing. I literally stayed in the house. Weekend before that, didn't do anything. And it's just so damn hot. So Sunday fun day used to be so fun, but now that it is excruciating, yesterday we were in the, um, the high red danger zone for heat. They were like, if you have any elderly loved ones that live on the north side of town they were like that's the highest heat they were like please call them and check on them i was like oh my god so yeah it's bad out here y'all these are the apples that i'm eating y'all know i'll slice open um slice open like it's a damn chest or something like it's surgery i will slice an apple into quadrants and i'll put a little bit a tiny bit of lemon juice and then cinnamon shake them up and then it almost almost not really makes you think you're eating like an apple pie or something you know now i do love flaky crust and vanilla bean ice cream so it definitely ain't the same but you get that cinnamon apple flavor in your mouth not just a plain apple when you're trying to do right eat healthy you see your girl face done slimmed up even more y'all know i've been consistent i mean i'm being consistent again I done been on, fell off, been on, fell off. But, you know, that's life. I'm not going to beat myself up about when I fall off or when I have a cheat meal, so. Hey, oh, yeah. Look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. played four games Ashton played two and they're beat clearly I'm about to go to Subway buy them some sandwiches you know just something that they don't have to eat like immediately if they don't want to they might want to go take a nap and then they can eat the sandwich later so and then I'll probably get myself a maybe a wrap I be forgetting because I don't eat Subway like all, all, all the time. So I forget like which one's better, the wrap or the pita bread. And when I say better, I'm not talking about flavor-wise because flavor-wise the best is the white bread, of course. <laughs> but better as in 
as a combination of lowest carbs, lowest sugar, calories. I'm about to pull up in the parking spot and look. I'm about to Google it. Hopefully it's on their website. Okay, y'all. I'm back home for a minute. Just want to open this Amazon package with you guys. It feels so light. Like, is all my stuff in here? Boy, oh, you scared me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I got a neck fan. So let me tell y'all about this neck fan. I could say I'm gonna link it down below for you guys, but I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm link it down below. Let me, I'm gonna link it down below. But this was, I think, 18 or 19 dollars. And I'm like, oh, it's the cheapest one. They had some, the exact same one for like 22, 24. Of course, I filtered it to make it the cheapest one. Why the day I ordered this, I went to five below. Same day, same day, this was in there for $10. I paid almost 20. Anyway, I don't know if five below is everywhere. Maybe it's not. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. It's just one of them fans you put around your neck. So if you're a jogger, um, you take the kids to the pool. You can put it around your neck and your hands are free. Okay. Then this was recommended to me by a subscriber. She said, get this for Ashton's neck when you wash her hair on the sink. Neck pillow. C-shaped cervical traction pillow. So anyway, it goes on. Let me make sure this is right. It goes on the back of her neck like this. She'll be laying with her hair lay, laying in the sink. And so this helps, I don't know. It's supposed to make it more comfortable. How much did I pay for this? I truly don't know. Let me keep this plastic just in case she says it's not comfortable <laughs> and I need to return it and get my coin back. This I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I could return it and then just go buy the $10 one, but I'm gonna just keep it, it's fine. So anyway, if you guys are interested, I will link those down below and I will let y'all know what Ashton says about this, if it's worth it. When I showed her that I ordered it, she was like, oh, I saw that on TikTok. I'm like, of course, everything's on TikTok. All right, I'm in Target now. I have a pretty hefty amount of stuff that I have to get. Um, who goes major grocery shopping on a Saturday? Me. What do y'all eat? Do y'all on y'all sandwiches? Do y'all eat these sliced long pickles? They're called sandwich slices, or do y'all use like traditional, like the little circle sliced pickles for your sandwiches? I like the long ones, so I don't have to dig a bunch of them out. I could just lay two long strips on a sandwich, and then as it, y'all, these right here come in a clutch. mini pancakes and these these right here for mornings that you don't want to cook anything the kids can just put those in the microwave themselves yes they come right on time do I need waffles too hold up <sighs> my groceries have been like crazy pancake sticks Yes, I need waffles, french fries. The fact that all of these are $20 here and they're $8 and $9.99 at Dee Dee's and Marshall's is crazy. And Ross too. $20? I've never tried this. Is it good? I heard Kyra like a year ago saying that it was really good, but now she uses different kind of lotion. I've just never jumped on the bandwagon. But that's stupid. That's crazy. Now I did jump on the bandwagon with these. I got deep bronze and I also got this. I ordered it on Amazon, but y'all watch the TikToks. I watch it on a reel, of course, because I don't watch TikTok. But y'all watch the reels and TikToks with this stuff. Baby, we getting toasty brown without the sun, okay? How you doing? Yeah, what's up? Uh, blogger. You said you what? You sell what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You said car fresheners? Car air fresheners. Okay, players, A and M. Players air freshener. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I was just kind of confused because I was looking at, I was like in deep thought looking at this this stuff right here. Okay, all right. It's Gina. I'm from. Well, thank you. I know you fucking lying. I know. This is not the line for self checkout. Oh my, f what? It's Saturday, why? It is the line. Hold on, let me back y'all out. Ooh, that's backing, that's taking. Oh, uh, Target has two lines open. Remember how we used to talk shit about Walmart not having the lines open? Walmart has every line open on a regular day when there's nobody in there. Target is the new Walmart. That was kind of weird, random. Anyway, he was really trying to um, do some promo and holla all, all in one. Anyway, I don't do grocery hauls, y'all. Y'all know that I hate grocery hauls. But these right here, these right here are very good. They're Yasso bars. This is the birthday cake flavor. They're Greek yogurt. This one has like the least amount of calories, sugar, carbs, and all that but they're really good and they're like really light. I eat maybe like once a week or maybe like twice a week. Y'all know I'm not huge on like ice cream and stuff. I just, I, I'm just not into ice cream. I've told you that before. And then for like meals, like simple meals, small meals, let me say that. And you like, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got to want to cook nothing. You don't want to go out and spend no money. I get these, the Simply Meals. They're low calorie, they're low carb. They're like, oh. Oh, he got on one. Okay. Anyways, like, yeah, they're low everything. So this one is the chicken. It's grilled chicken and broccoli alfredo. This one is grilled chicken, pesto, and vegetable. This one is fried rice. I feel like I've had this one before and I didn't like it, but I can't remember, but something about it anyway. Yeah, it's a lot. And I know when I put everything away, it's probably, my refrigerator and pantry probably still gonna look empty. What's up, y'all? It's Sunday, another day in the current vlog. Did I vlog yesterday? I did. I vlogged for a little bit yesterday. Anyways, we're getting ready to go to uh, Jennifer's daughter's birthday party. It's literally right up the street at this bounce. This bounce place. This is what I'm wearing. This is that two piece set that I showed you guys from Crazy Boss. The one that I was like, I really don't like the pattern too much, but it fits good. And the pants literally drag on the floor. Like they're not drag on the floor bad, like in a sloppy way, but they touch the ground. And y'all know it's so hard for me to find pants that actually touch the ground. So. I'm like, the print is a little childish, but it's whatever. And this is how much I pay for it. $12.99. If y'all got a crazy boss in your area, check them out. I kind of feel bad that I'm going to be walking in empty handed, but this is all last minute. She told me what her daughter wanted last minute. I ain't got time to go get her a gift. So... I might just stop at the ATM real quick and every child wants money. That's the way I be looking at it. I'm like, every kid wants money. Even as an adult. Give me money. Y'all ain't got a shot for me. Give me give me the cash and I'll do as I please with it. <laughs> Here's the outfit. Ashton said it looks like paintball splatter. I, did, I didn't try to get in the camera, but I saw myself. My hair looks bad. You look cute. You look... You know, I have, to, I have to shake my head so my hair looks like how I wanted it to. You look beautiful. No, I do not. Girl. You're like... You do. I tell you that all the time. Don't I always okay, tell you okay, that? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You tell me that all the time. Here's Ethan. 
Fresh haircut, looking good. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, nice to meet you, Gina. Y'all get y'all's uh, socks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely not. Cake is cute. Oh. Wow. It feels great in here. Y'all say what's yeah. up to Jen? Hey, y'all. The birthday mama? Y'all know why I got these glasses on. I don't need to. Why do you have those glasses on? Ooh, oh, they're paper. No. Up and they look like magic marker. Oh, <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, our host at Urban Air is cool as shit. He's like, whatever y'all need, don't go downstairs and pay for it. I'm, I got y'all. This nigga giving us extra pizzas. He done got us ices. He was like, if y'all want wine, he was like, anything y'all want, I got you. Just take care of me at the end. We like, bitch. just waking up from a nap my I had plans today y'all I literally oh shit I literally had plans but my body told me something different my homeboy had a section at this day daytime pool party and I was like I'm coming I'm coming he was like man you better come too. you child I came home thought I was gonna take a nap for like 10 minutes Baby, I did not wake up until like 8.15. Tanya was like, I'm out, where are you? Excuse me. I'm out, where are you? I didn't even respond to her her text back until like an hour and a half later. <sighs> okay, so another Saturday. I mean, another weekend of me not doing shit. I don't know how this vlog gonna go. It might be boring. It might be hella boring. Fell asleep without pulling our meat out. So I, I, there's nothing for me to cook. <laughs> so I'm about to go pick us up some food. And we're going to try again tomorrow. Good morning. What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. I'm just picking the camera up. I honestly was not going to film today. But I got a package in the mail from Fashion Nova. What did the Brit British girls say? Not British. What are they? English girls. F Fashion Nova. What? Uh, what? What? Speech dialect? I don't know if I'm saying the word right. Says when it ends in an A, they pronounce it E R. Fashion Nova. Oh, this is catfish on the. Hold on. This is catfish. Okay, so this is a swim cover up. Everybody said size down in the comments because it's huge. Okay, so it does stretch a lot. So I got a medium, y'all know. I'm usually like a large and everything. So this is how it is. Y'all see it's tan. Let, where my phone at? Let me show y'all the picture from Fashion Nova. Now, yes, the description did say tan, but if you look at these Fashion Nova pictures, it looks like it's a shimmery, like a um, iridescent tan. It's hard to explain. You can't tell me this don't look gold. Man, don't that 
look? Sh it looks shimmery. Can I make it bigger? Look at that. It looks shimmery. It looks golden almost. Look at this. This looks like just regular plain tan. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. <sighs> okay, anyway, so y'all see how it looks. I think it's going to look cute with like a brown, tan, gold bikini underneath it. So, so it will go on my titties like this. Then with these hips, it will kind of make it a little bit shorter. Okay, it looked like it's still going to be all the way to my ankles. Okay, next I got a, it's a chain skirt. Let me show y'all a picture because I ain't about to try it on. Y'all see that? I thought this would look so cute on vacation. So that's what this is. It's a chain. It's it's called a chain belt, but it looks like a skirt, if you ask me. Whoa. Okay, then I bought two pair of pants. Y'all know I usually don't buy pants like this. In the comment section, everybody said, oh, they're too long, they're too long, they're so long. And y'all know when I see comments that say everything is too long, I'm like, that's my cue to buy. Whoa, that waist looks lit. This is a size large too. This waist looks tiny. Y'all probably can't tell, but. Whoa. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't like buying pants online. All the reviews said, they're too long, they're too long. Look how short they are on me. <laughs> like, look, they flapping in the wind. They flapping. He's giving to Steve Urkel. Like, no. No. Okay, so these are the brown ones. These aren't bad. They just look like work pants if you ask me maybe i need to go up a size maybe i need to get the extra large because on the model they looked like sexy because this part goes in like a v in the front but because they're so tight on me they don't go in the v it kind of just looks regular degular you know the length is okay I, I definitely prefer them longer i don't know it's annoying i think i'm gonna take these back not take them back, but return them. And I hate that Fashion Nova charges you like a $5 fee, a restocking fee to get a store credit. I might as well show y'all the stuff that I got from the last vlog. If y'all remember in the last vlog, I hit up the sale at Forever 21 again, where everything was buy one, get one free. I did not do a haul. I was supposed to do one in that video. So here we are. Oh, I went to DD's too. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. Oh, I got stuff from DD's, Crazy Balls, and Forever 21. Let's start with Forever 21. Okay, so this is the bodysuit. It's a just a light gray bodysuit. It has an open back. So that, and then I got these to go with it. They're just dark gray. Child, this is hard to see if I don't try it on. Y'all get the idea though. Then probably with some black boots maybe. I can't. I, I definitely can't wear this right now. Uh, I'll be wearing this when it gets a little bit cooler outside. So anyway, the pants were, it says 12. These were not 12. I think they rang up either five or nine. They rang up five. They, they rang up five. Yeah. So this whole outfit was $9 because the top was nine. So that means the pants would have been free. The cheaper item is always the free item. Then I got this button down shirt. It's like a puke green. <laughs> it's like a puke green. They call it gold, whatever. So it's just a long sleeve button up. It's real cropped. I actually have this. I have three of these in my closet that I paid full price for. I have one in Bottega green. I have a cream colored one and a chocolate brown. So now I have gold added to the collection. So. This I did actually try on in the last vlog. It's just a brown cropped buttoned up shirt. It's a size small, so it was a little tight on the titties, on the tie ties. Child, I can't even, hold up. Oof. Okay. So 
and then I bought this. This was on clearance too for five dollars. If I decide to wear this open, I can I can wear it buttoned up if I wanted to. It's just like I said, it's just a little snug. But I got this little cami. I can wear this under it and wear it open. It's just like a little seamless. I wear open with some jeans with like probably my Louis sandals and my Louis bag. And that's it. Oh, wait. Shit, I'm tripping. That's it from Forever 21. And all that sale stuff is final sale. So if you got, you got something, you better like it. Okay, next, DDs. I have this two-piece set that I actually wore recently. I have it in gray. Y'all have seen this before. I just found it in black now. This is a two-piece set, seamless. It's a size large slash extra large. Y'all know I love my athleisure sets just to wear with sneakers in the daytime. This was $8.99 for this two-piece set. Y'all can't, you can't beat that. Then y'all know I have vacations coming up. So I bought a wrap skirt to wear with my bikini. Y'all know I usually wear like mesh pants. I'm like, let me get a wrap skirt just to kind of switch things up. So I got this, it was $5.99. And then lastly, I just got a seamless gray top. It's a mock turtleneck, it's sleeveless, one size fits all, super stretchy, $3.49. Oh, and I went to Five Below, y'all don't care about this. I just bought some swim shoes, cause I already have black swim shoes. So I was like, let me buy some white ones. Y'all know I like to coordinate. Of course, these were five dollars from Five Below. Then I did buy those white sandals, the ones that I told you guys I did not need, cause I have plenty of white sandals that I hardly wear. I bought them. They were seven ninety nine. They looked so cute on my feet that I was like, mm. let me just get them. And if I really don't need them, then I'll take them back. It's only eight dollars. Then I got this Versace inspired shirt. Y'all know I love a crop shirt that you can just tie up in the front. So this is how it looks. It has these strings here, not strings, but ties. Where you just tie it up like this. You can wear with jeans, some black pants, black leggings, whatever. I bought my sister one too. Y'all know me and her, our style is so much alike that when we go out, we gotta call each other and be like, what you wearing? What you wearing? Okay, okay, well I'm wearing this. It was about to be too similar to what you you wearing. We don't wanna be walking in looking like Bobsy twins, so. It's about to be one o'clock. I need to eat something and then I'm taking the kids to that arcade, so. Okay, y'all, this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. This is my $5 set. I told y'all I got a bunch of sets for five dollars from forever 21 during the sale the top was five dollars the leggings were five dollars so this whole set was five dollars i don't be asking me which one's the best forever 20 which one's the best one you gotta dig and look when they have sales like this i'm digging through buckets through racks like i'm digging i'm taking my time i might be in there for an hour or longer you know what i mean but anyway, this is a cropped um, athleisure jacket from Zara that I got during the Zara sale last year. I just have it on just because, you know, I'm with the kids, so I gotta just cover up a little bit. And I have my black bag. These are my, some Didi sunglasses. And I showed y'all all them new sunglasses I just bought in that luxury haul. But yet, I still go back to my Didi's glasses. I know, I'm weird. And then my Dolce & Gabbana sneakers. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see. Oh, there they go. So yeah, y'all know. Athleisure wear, I turn it into streetwear. So let's go. It's gonna be a family affair because Tina's meeting us. Byron is meeting us. So it should be fun. But I do have a long drive ahead of me. It's like 45 minutes. So let's get to it. So ERCOT, who runs like the heating and cooling throughout all of Texas, they want us to conserve energy because these last two days have been the hottest that July, that Texas July has ever seen. They said in the history of Texas, <laughs> these have been the two hottest days. So I'm gonna go ahead and conserve energy since we are about to be gone. I'm gonna turn it up to 77. So that'll help out a little bit. Y'all conserve energy when y'all leave out. You ready, baby? Yeah. Ready? Y'all see our skyline? 
Y'all look who look who came. Give me a like I missed it. Give me a bro. You getting taller, son? You getting taller? What kind of hairstyle is this? You're growing. Yeah. I think I wore my hair like this when I was five. Huh? I wore my hair like this when I was five. This? Exactly. Oh, this the um. It looks like a rapper that I've seen with their hair like that. I mean, many rappers have done it. No. But, uh, uh, what's the one I bought you a T-shirt, Ashton? Like, Juice World. He didn't have that. Juice World? No. No. Who X had their hair like that? Busta Rhymes had it like that. Uh, XXX Tentacion had it like that. Little Wayne had it like that one time. Uh, okay. Hey y'all, this is where we're at. Like literally huge. So the fee is ten dollars, and you can play any. We got Street Fighter. They have Donkey Kong. Any video game, arcade game you can think of, they have it in here. Uh, the only thing that you pay for is if you want like beer, beer or wine. So other than that, and they have like pinball machines back there. So it's pretty cool. Like, and after eight p.m., it's twenty-one and up. As of right now, it's like family friendly. So there's Tina. Look what Ashton's doing. Tina! Yeah, it's the main squeeze. Main squeeze, Texas strawberry. Yep. Do y'all want to try these? Oh! Tina's here, she's already smiling. <laughs> because I'm laughing, because I know every time I ask you to try something, you keep looking like I'm about to feed you crap. It's just a strawberry. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh. Yeah. They don't have a flight board, so I ordered the flight. This one is the main squeeze. And this one is, one is main squeeze, one is Texas strawberry, so. I got the Boy, give me your hand. How do you even think of these jokes so fast? You don't have to drink. We're just gonna do a cheers. It's for my real. If I want to drink. Then you can you're, well, help yourself. Ready? Yeah. Set. Let me put a filter. Let me put a filter on you. Like last time? Do we gotta do it in reverse? Like last time? It's good enough to play the game. You don't want to get too messed up trying to play a game. Playing to play games? Yeah. Record it. This is so cute. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what flavor this is. Good. Isn't that cool? These are... <laughs> she doesn't even care. I got her a little phone fan. So I actually cute. have one. Oh, wow. Well, it's the exact same thing. Well, then you can have it. I bought one for you. No, but I can keep this in my car. Okay, oh, I got one for the kids. Yeah. No, thank you. Because the one that I had, I got it from like, it was like $2, and the blades were this big. Oh, so like that's super tiny. tiny. This is the best stuff for flat ironing and curling your hair. It's a smoothing spray. Life changing. No, no, free, no, free, no free advertisements. No, no free advertisements. You're going to love it, though. I don't I know you wear curly hair a lot, but whenever you wear it straight and want to like rough flat iron, mm -hmm. just miss it on each section. You know how hair was thinking after the plug. Yeah. I'm gonna spray it on my hair so you can smell Oh that smells amazing. <laughs> yeah. That smells so good. So oh yeah, hair perfume. My yes. I love that stuff. I wish we, I, I wish y'all could smell what I'm smelling. <laughs> it smells so good. That's, this smells really good too. Does it? Yeah, like really wine almost. Yeah, but everything's wine based. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. It's not, yeah, it's not bad. I just couldn't tell the difference between flavors. That was the only thing. Okay, so we got number three. This one is called Cider Days. I don't know what the flavors of any of these are, like what's in them, but that's what it's called, Cider Days. This one's good. Mm -hmm. Try it. Sweet. You like it? Contest like a no. It's contest like um 
What's the word? Uh, hey, I can't. The apple one, the apple beer. Yeah, we had. Cider days is good though, y'all. I'm gonna get Tina to try it. All right, so I'm about to play Simpsons. Oh, I can't stand y'all up. So I'll check in with y'all later. We're looking for Mike Tyson's Punch Out and Street Fighter One. We saw Street Fighter Two. Hold on, Byron's gonna find it for us. This was one of my favorite games as a kid. don't care about that it's me i'm a psycho i'm a psycho but it's this wide angle lens that does that but anyway y'all everywhere we go little boys try to holler at ashton she's nine okay she's nine so of course these boys are around her age as well nine ten eleven when i was that age little boys was not walking up to me trying to talk to me, asking me for my phone number, asking me if I had a boyfriend. This is weird. I'm sorry, it is. Like, we were in San Antonio, a little boy tried to holler at Ashton, and Ashton was like, no, I can't have a boyfriend until I'm 15. Then he went over to Ethan and was like, that's your sister? Give me her number, give me her number. Today, while we at the arcade, little boy is trying to holler at her, asking for her phone number. This is when did this happen? When did this start? In the digital age? Because I'm a 90s kid. I'm an 80s baby, but I'm a 90s kid. So in the 90s, you know, I was in elementary and middle school. It wasn't until, I think, seventh grade when boys were like, let me get your phone number. Like, you're you're pretty. Like, are you, can you date anybody? Can you have a boyfriend? That was seventh, eighth grade. She's nine. I don't know it's just weird to me it's very weird and i'm not that parent who is living in la la land who's like oh my daughter can't date till she's 18 she can't have a boyfriend until she's 21 da, 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 da. that's what their dad thinks their dad is like ashton you can't date till you're 18 till you're done with high school which i understand the mentality you don't want teenage pregnancy you don't want your kid your daughter to lose focus of school I get it. You don't want your daughter to have a name that she's a hoe, you know. But I hate that he looks at Ethan, and not just him. This is society in general. Like, oh, Ethan gonna be a heartbreaker. Oh, Ethan gonna have a bunch of girlfriends. Oh, Ethan gonna be dating all Ashton friends. And like, why do we groom our boys to be heartbreakers, players, having a bunch of girlfriends? And around the age of four, five is when we start saying, oh, he gonna be this, he gonna be that, he gonna have all the girls. Like, why do we do that? That's not healthy to do that for boys either. If we have these standards for girls, like, oh, you can't have a boyfriend until you 17, 18, 19, why are we not doing that for boys? I've never liked that. That's why whenever their dad is like, oh, Ethan gonna be having all Ashton friends. Ethan gonna be, he gonna, he don't say that. He ain't say, Ethan gonna have all the hoes. If he didn't play, uh, play basketball, he a star, he gonna have all them little, all them little hoes gonna want him. And I always tell him like, bro, chill, like chill out, like stop, like don't do that. You know, so, I don't know. I'm just, I'm different. The way I date is different, so maybe y'all don't need to listen to me, but I don't like that. For girls, we are living in this la-la land of girls can't date and have a boyfriend until they're legally of age, but 
yet a five-year-old little boy can be a heartbreaker and have a bunch of girlfriends. Like, that's sick. Like, that's sick to me. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Why these little nine and ten-year-old boys are walking up to girls, approaching them, asking if they single? What the fuck? <laughs> the only thing I could think of is that they have big brothers, and their big brother, and they see what their big big brothers are doing. That's the only thing that can make sense to me. Cause what? <laughs> so the kids are eating. Raisin canes. I can't be eating any more. Ashley's done already. <laughs> but they had raisin canes. Me, I got Panda Express. So I got super greens, shrimp, and their teriyaki chicken. I forgot to ask for teriyaki sauce on top. Y'all know folks want teriyaki sauce on top. Y'all should have just put it on there. They're out of line. I don't want it. But they did give me some Mandarin teriyaki on the side. I don't know if that's the same thing. I don't think it is. But anyway, y'all know I wanted either some, what is it called, chow mein, lo mein, the noodles and rice. That's what I wanted. But I was like, let me be good and get some greens. So they're super greens. It looks like cabbage and broccoli. Anyway, that's dinner. And y'all know, I just spent almost $200 on groceries at Target recently. And here I am, keep forgetting for the past two nights to thaw meat out. So I'm for tomorrow's dinner, I'm gonna thaw the meat out tonight. Cause when I wake up in the morning, it's like I be on go mode. I get dressed, get re ready for the gym, and I come home, deal with the kids, and anyways, yeah, so. And please tell me why is, why is Cane's so expensive? It's Their expensive. meal was $16, $15.90 for the Caniac combo, which is six chicken strips, French fries, bread, and a drink, $16. I can go to Chili's and get a chicken strip basket and a drink for cheaper. I could go to Cheddar's and get a chicken strip basket for cheaper. It's good though. I can go to KFC. Why is Kane so hot? It's good though. Crazy, it's good though. crazy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just leaving the gym. Whoo, gotta cut this air on full blast, baby. Okay. How are y'all doing? I have not vlogged in probably two days. Oh, I'm flustered, y'all. I got nauseous in there. Like a little upchuck came right to the tip of the back of my throat. It touched the little hangy ball in the back of my throat, but I had to take it like a G and swallow that shit. <sighs> Working out on an empty stomach. And anyway, here we are. I'm about to go. I think I'm going to get me a green smoothie. Somebody told me Whole Foods stopped making fresh smoothies, and then somebody else told me they still do make fresh smoothies. So we're about to go in Whole Foods and see if they still make smoothies. If not, then I might come right here. There's a juice place. They do pressed juices, but I believe, I don't know if you can just buy one. I feel like they do them for like meal preps for like days, you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll find out. But anyway, hope y'all having a beautiful day, whatever day you guys are watching this. It is Thursday at the time of this recording. We got a lot of shit to do today because I go out of town tomorrow, so. Aw, relationship goals. So cute. All right, fingers crossed about this smoothie, y'all. Fingers crossed. Oh my God, I don't think they have it. They have a matcha mint lemonade. I wonder how that tastes. Quick question, y'all don't do the fresh smoothies anymore? No, we don't do the smoothies anymore. They no locations do them or just this location this does them? shut it down about two years ago. Okay. I've heard that the uh, Kirby location okay. still has them and I think one of the other ones further into Houston does. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to, what kind of lunch do they have? I ain't gonna eat nothing, but let me just see. If y'all didn't know, Whole Foods be having good lunch. Oh, they haven't even put it all out yet. Mm, that looks good. That looks good. So they have all the sides out, just not the meat. First they got like wings, egg rolls, meatballs. Y'all, these are so good. They're not healthy. Just because it says vegan don't mean it's healthy. But they're delicious. I wasn't too much of a fan of this one, and I didn't like this one either. But 
Yes, that one. I just drove over to Nectar because I'm like, I ain't about to be running all over town trying to find a smoothie or some juice, so. All right, we're back. I got a Nectar smoothie. Last time I was here, because this is very far from my house. Last time I was here, I got the, it's called the Popeye smoothie. So of course, you know, Popeye spinach. So it had like spinach, blueberry, homemade. It's like vegan milk, acai, nectar, nana and blueberry in it. And it was pretty decent. It was pretty good. This one's called the tropical smoothie. This one has spinach and kale, pineapple, banana, I believe acai, coconut water. Anyway, we gonna try it together. So cheers, bitches. It tastes pretty good. I think they blended it too much or didn't put enough ice in it because it's literally in between a juice and a smoothie. I like my smoothies to be a little bit thicker. But still, it's good. And these cost, this is the medium, the 24 ounce, and this was like $9.45. So, not bad. Not cheap, but not bad. Alright, I'm about to get these lashes filled in. I just got them done like eight days ago literally so i really don't even need a refill but every time i travel i i just don't feel right unless i have a fresh set of lashes am i weird i mean i can go for like a couple more like right here in the corner a few more over here but i mean they really look good but yep that's what we're about to do about to get our lashes done Hey y'all, lashes are refilled. I love this wig, don't ask me. Ooh. Focus, mother. Focus. I love this wig, don't ask me where it's from. I'll know when I get home, because it's on the package. But um, yes, lashes look good. I wanna show y'all these sneakers that I'm wearing. My outfit, my gym outfit is kinda cute. Let me show y'all my outfit. Oh man, the lighting sucks. Anyway, it's the orange, like a neon orange top. I found this top at Walmart for a dollar. A dollar at Walmart. Yes, it was like two or three years ago, but still a dollar. Mm-hmm. Then these are some leggings from Forever 21. I got these on clearance for like $7 a few years ago. Then y'all look at my new shoes. Y'all can't see and I ain't flexible. Hold on. Dang it. Yes, I'm taking my shoe off. Y'all, I got these at, I found these at Crazy Boss last week. It has, look, neon blue, neon yellow, neon orange. Anyway, let me get my butt in this damn car. Oh, oh, that? Lord jeez, I really took my shoe off to show y'all. All right, y'all, we're at Trend Mall. Y'all already know this place is like, Fashion Nova Warehouse, pretty much. These are cute. These are pretty. Y'all know I can't wear a heel that high, but they're pretty. These are the reason why I'm here. I bought these and I'm returning them. I don't know if I should get them in a different size or what. But this is a nice low heel, a low slope. Oh, these are pretty. These are my favorite pants, the gauchos, the booty clappers. And I got every color you could even think of. Y'all know this is my absolutely favorite bikini cut or monokini cut, whatever you want to call it. I love this one piece. How much is this? 25? Mm-mm, I can get it for cheaper. Y'all already know these are my favorite kind of shirts. Crop, tying in the front. And I got a million of them. Okay, y'all, so I didn't find anything that I wanted to exchange it for, so I just got a store credit. But that's it, Trim I'll tell y'all about Trim all the time. I just don't come here as often as I used to because baby, I would just buy, buy, buy and not wear the shit. It was just sick. <laughs> so I just said that I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious with my spending, even though it's on sale and a good price. 
I don't want to buy it just because it's three, four dollars. You know what I'm saying? I can use that three, four dollars for other things like Chick-fil-A, a smoothie, some iced coffee, or something that I will get five minutes of enjoyment out of. <laughs> okay, where to next? What's next on the list? I sure did write a list out because I said I can't be. Oh, was that it? I got a pack. I got to put my press-ons on. I got to change my wig. Um, but, oh, I need to go to the post office to do a fashion over return. That's what's next. All right, y'all. Right, we are now at CVS. Because one thing I'm going to do is do some couponing. No matter how much money I make while I'm on this earth, I'm going to coupon. I'm going to use a, I'm going to get a deal, okay? Y'all, look, they got some on-the-go fun, and it's only $12. That's cheap. Look at that. It's only $15. Y'all get y'all, um, y'all little travel. What's that? Bullet. Okay, so if you see right here, it says $3 off any Garnier facial care. These are Garnier facial care because they're masks. They're $3.19. So they will be 19 cents after I use my coupon. Okay, y'all, we're at Salada now. Y'all know my order is Salada. It never changes, but in case you're new here, it's kale, arugula, onions, cucumber, tomato, egg, mango, corn, black beans, sesame sticks, shrimp, herb vinaigrette, and... I think that's it. <laughs> so I'm starving. All I've had was that smoothie. And y'all know smoothies do not keep you full for a long time. I also just went and got my car wash. Y'all didn't want to see that. So the music here is loud as hell. So I'm going to catch y'all when I'm done. All right. We are back home. And I think I'm going to start packing in a minute. The worst part about going on trips is packing and unpacking. I absolutely hate it. But y'all look at these sets I just got from Forever 21. Y'all know the seamless sets that I love, that I love, love, love so much. They have new colors. I guess these are like the summer colors because like what I, I have like army green, I have tan, black, um, gray. I have like all the dark colors, so. They have like light purple, they had peach, baby pink. So anyways, I got these three colors. So y'all know I wear these all the time. Skims who, skims what? I, I really don't fool with skims no more. Um, I wear skims, but I just can't see myself buying skims like that anymore. When skims first came out, it was like the end all be all, but you can find skims dupes on Amazon. You can find skims dupes on Shein. Like, I'm not paying $100 for a top and bottom anymore that's thin and shrinks. Because all of my skims are now like three inches shorter at the ankle. But anyway, I'll link these down below if you guys care. They're just like seamless athleisure wear sets. Me and Ashton are watching Pretty Woman. <laughs> oh, y'all, I also got this bathing suit. Look. Oh, let me show y'all. Hold up. Remember I told y'all this is my new favorite cut of bikini. This is on the Forever 21 website for, I believe I got this for either $8 or $11. And I did get a percentage off from Retail Me Not. It was RMN20. So off of both of these, off of both of these, um, these were online orders and they just came in. So check Retail Me Not, see which um, coupon code they still have right now. Oh, and I got these shoes also. Look how cute this is. Look how just absolutely cute. And I think I got these for around seven or eight dollars as well. So yeah. But let me just show y'all the look. Let me, let me show y'all the look. I'm not taking the swimsuit with me on this trip, but I will be having a beachy trip soon. Girl, do you see this? Do you see this? This is gonna be a look. With some white, with a white swim cover up, either pants or shorts or, or, or something. Yes.
But anyway, me and Ashton are about to watch our show. And then I'm about to get my mind right to pack. I might need a cocktail to get me through it. Oh, there's, there's one other thing. One other thing I wanted to show you guys. See, when I don't vlog like consistently back to back to back, it's like I get stuff and I'll be like, I need to remember to tell them. I need to remember to tell them. So that's why I'm telling y'all all at once. My sister got me this. It's by the brand Amika. It's hair perfume. Now I know some people, they just will spray their regular perfume in their hair, but companies like Chanel makes an actual hair perfume. And I know there's other companies out there, but of course this is gonna be cheaper than Chanel. Y'all, and it smells so, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I don't know where she got it from. I'll have to ask her. Well, maybe I can Google it. And if you guys are interested, let me spray some in my hair now. I sprayed some in a few days ago. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. <laughs> it's like just a light, fresh scent. Like it almost smells like a body wash, like that, like just a really fresh scent. Anyway, I'm gone. I'm back. It's dinner time. Dinner, 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 dinner time. When I tell y'all I'm making a quick dinner, I'm doing chicken tacos. This is already cooked chicken meat. I'm just gonna put it on the uh, stove. Do a little razzle dazzle, season it up a little bit. I got my carb balance tortillas. The kids are gonna have regular tortillas. And we got Mexican style cheese. I don't have Tillamook. We ran out of Tillamook, so y'all know I'm sad. It's okay though. And then sour cream for the kids. And then y'all know I use non-fat Greek yogurt for mine. We got half a tomato, which is only gonna be enough for the kids. It ain't gonna be enough for me. And then we have lime crema sauce. And then avocado, what is this? Avocado salsa. We got regular salsa. We got anything you need. We also have jalapenos, but I don't think the kids are gonna want any jalapenos. Oh, this smells so good. Still haven't packed yet. I have not packed. That's why I'm making tacos so I can do this, so I could be done cooking them, eat my little one or two tacos, just like doop doop real quick, and then I'm gonna pack. I do not wanna be up packing at 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, we are not doing it this time. Matter of fact, let me put y'all on pause so I won't have no interruptions. I love y'all. I'm gonna check back in when these are done. I'm gonna show y'all how they look. Look at this. Lord. Carb from the taco is not that bad. I just wish I could eat what the kids eating. <laughs> y'all, I jinxed myself. It's 12.45. I'm just now almost finished packing. Ashton right there knocked out sleep. She been asleep for about an hour. I'm watching Carisha Place. Carisha Place. <laughs> and I don't have a wig on right now. So I'm going to hurry up, finish packing my little last little stuff. Pop a wig on. I might just wake up an hour early and apply a wig in the morning. I haven't decided yet. But I'm about to end this vlog out. I love you guys. Next time I will see y'all. We'll be on my trip. So stay tuned for that.